All right, everybody. Well, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous Halloween day. If you're getting some candy and some fun things, not causing too much destruction in your neighborhood. Going to uh, do a special playthrough today. Perhaps the greatest survival horror game of all time. This is Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Just, just jump right into it. What else can be said about this? A little storyline going here. Porky Pig's leading through his holiday brochures to plan his upcoming vacation. Trips off to sleep. And then it cut off. So he's sleeping now. And then Freddy Krueger entered his dreams, I believe, is the storyline. The Dream Warriors had to save him. Something bad happened. Okay. Basically, Porky Pig is a dude that works hard all year. He's planning his vacation, his vacation days. He called, you know, he put in his his, uh, his vacation time. It was finally approved. And uh, it's a tough economy. He's probably working a job. He's probably working like a, a job that's for three people. Okay, he's doing it by himself. He finally gets vacation time. And what happens is, instead of going on vacation. He's transported to this bizarre world, this haunted holiday world. Very upsetting. This is a, a lot of, uh, you see a lot of strange characters in this game. You have bats. You have leprechauns. I guess those are, that's a, a Halloween uh, scary thing, hot leprechaun. I don't know. But the most frightening thing in this game is actually Porky Pig himself. If you look at him, a completely nude pig, except for his coat and bow tie. His animation is very strange. He stands still. He's fine. He looks a little uh, angry when he's yeah. He's pissed off when he's standing. When he jumps, he's scared as hell. Why does he? Why, why would you jump like this? Look how he jumps. So that's that. I just screwed up. The power ups are a piece of cheesecake. Go figure. What we'll, as we play this, what you'll find is it's actually. The whole world, I believe, is just an acid trip. He's on some sort of uh, hallucinogenic, and he finds himself in this haunted nightmare world. Very upsetting. Let's do it. Oh boy, I fucked up. Okay, a little more patient than that. And as you see there, Porky Pig's friend Daffy Duck makes an appearance. Basically scares the crap out of him and makes him jump high into the air. And I blew that. A little platforming going on in this game. Leprechauns, I don't know what we came up with that. Not you know, not not a vampire or a mummy. You don't know no, we're we're gonna have leprechauns that you uh you battle with here in this haunted world. Wow. I guess that's a secret area or something, or perhaps the game for us. No, it's a secret ish area. Spiders? What's going on here? What the hell? How do I go down? There's one ups and shit in here. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, you need the one up. Come on, man. It's like random holes in the uh, the web, I guess. Alright, so you have to find uh, the random holes in this spider's web to get you out of here. If she had uh, some sort of projectile, a gun or something. Well, I got a free one up, but I uh, beat the crap out of myself. Getting it, now you need the hearts. Oh, great. Fucking death. Excellent. Let's start over in here. Da 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 do.
little more volume going for you. Just jumps around their heads with his giant obese pig body. Oh, there's horse down here. Pull the leopard cat in one giant leap. Alright, we're back. Great. Got a free life, but I lost a life. He's definitely dark acting like an asshole. Terrible, disgusting foods. This is why Porky Pig hallucinates. Eats all this terrible stuff. Poor diet. Okay, let's get out of here. This is kind of cool. It's the giant tree. Probably cool effects. Gives us some good graphics for what it is. This is kind of a cool thing. A pseudo uh, 3D effect going on. Oh shit. Right. Good job. Where am I going? It's endless. Cool music going too, I like that. So we gotta go this way. Some damage, it's not cool. I want that fucking cheesecake, there we go. Ah, oh, I get the heart, man. I needed that heart. We got uh, another level here. Oh shit! That's strange. I don't know how they came up with this idea. Porky Pig meets a haunted world. I don't know. I don't... What's that? Yes. Put your little flag there, sir. Mark your territory. She's kicking it up. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Uh oh, I got some platforming. Oh! Platforming, the only way that Porky Pig knows how. Right? Hmm. Shit. Look at this. What kind of position is that for him to be in? <laughs> disgusting. Imagine that thing flying over your head. A naked pig with a bow tie. Oh shit. So I guess these uh, cupcakes are the equivalent to uh, like coins, Mario or bananas. In Donkey Kong Country. It's a fucking ghost. What the hell's he doing? Ah, oh, it's a damage. Yeah, I think you just jump on his head, he can't really hurt you, uh, except for those things that come out of his hat. I'm fucking up terribly. I actually have the same thing underneath my hat, in case for those of you who are wondering what's underneath my hat. These ghosts. Hit them uh, two more times? Wow. Pretty long. 
Nice. One more time. Let's do it. I think he's dead. Look how he jumps. What the hell is that? It's ridiculous. What are we doing? Okay. So world 1 has been defeated, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on to World 2. Dry Gulch Town. It's like a haunted Old West village. Ghost Town. Alright, take our time here. We know what that is. Things of pieces of hay that can hurt you. I'm doing terrible right now. What if there's uh, some life up here? Hey, get up there. Fuck, I'm gonna die. Try to jump. Oh, sweet. Mark your territory, Porky. Urinates in the corner. Marking his territory. And four lives. Not good. Wow. I if I jump over a, onto a hay barrel, maybe? I don't know how to do this. Sure. Killer trains are perfectly timed to when you're re walking by them. Oh, fucked up. It's gonna be like long transitions in between the levels. What if it's like, uh, Sounds like it's loading. <laughs> PS1 era loading times. Great. Nice. Sounds good. Okay. Back outside now. I guess you can jump that. Oh! Get up there, man. The leprechauns. Those few Halloween monsters, a leprechaun. Secrets. Eating cupcakes there in a well as he's falling. That's when you have an eating disorder. No problem at that point. Okay. What are we doing in here? Killed the family dog? We got a moose head with a cigarette in its mouth? I don't know what that is? Oh, I see you going there, huh? See how beating right now. What does this guy have? Shoes that can fucking. Oh, cool. Oh. No shoes that can attack you. That's what he does with those leprechaun abilities. You can't not go in his door. Smoking Joe Camel, loose. That's where I just was. Hmm, I think I was just here, right? No. 
What's going here? All right. Yeah, now it's probably one of the worst boss battles in the history of games. I haven't played this game before, by the way. And I did it wrong. Okay, well, we're gonna try it again. Yeah, this game is from my personal collection, uh, I did play it some time ago. Don't ask me why. There we go. Hit the, hit the seesaw thing, his pan, his bed pan flies up in the air and he shoots the bed pan, and that's how he hurts himself, I guess. Huh? He's gigantic too. Let's look at that. It's a gigantic of Sam. There we go. Very nice. I'm doing it. He's pissed. What about drugs? The whole game. He took some sort of Alice in Wonderland. Pills or something, made him grow, and Porky Pig's all freaked out. He killed him. He took his life. All right, we got World Three. Atlantis. Because when you think horror and creepy shit, you think Atlantis, right? So we got awesome music. It's like a creepy Beach Boys song or something. I don't know. There we go. Oh! What assholes these people are. Cool. Stay up here as long as I can. Come on up. Come on right. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Da 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 Porky Pig's gonna fuck you. Come on, which wildlife do I have to slaughter? Let's go. So the ship sinks into the, to the water. Dinosaur guy, uh, gives you a bubble you can use, ride. So like the Hedgehog, he absorbed that, and that's how he stays alive. Porky Pig, he can survive underwater. Hmm. Ruins of the Titanic. Is our heart down? Yes. It's just some cool music, I have to say. Do it up. I like that Sony hits his head. That's right. This is the most the greatest survival horror game ever. I have found it. Just making our way here. Stupid jellyfish. Surprise party pig doesn't try to eat it. What kind of animation is that? <laughs> so strange looking. Miss Ocarina music. Oh, 
There we go. Gotta go right. As it tells us, falling to my death, probably. Should probably be trying to get these things, huh? Cool. Alright, here we go. I'm just freaking out my TV, blowing out the speakers, making some strange noises. Get away! Alright, you get lost in here. I'm gonna try to see if I can remember how to do this. Get done. Bubbles. Ah. Is this Sophistry the Cat, the statue? In his memory? I think it is. He's like the god of Atlantis somehow. I was Tweety and Sylvester. It's a bubble riding. Where I'm going right now. Look at that. Just gotta go left. Hmm, is this where I came from? I don't know what's going on. I'm just going with the flow right now. Just bear with me here. Huh. You have to go up there, I think. Yup, sweet. Got through it. Extended uh, black screen here. And uh, I think the game froze. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, that's the problem with these old cartridges. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, it's just frozen. It's kind of odd because the music's playing still. Well, I'm going to try to figure this out and uh, come right back. Bye.